Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In our previous video, we discussed like how to uh, run our test script and generate that HTML report using just Allure, right? Today, we are going to discuss how to run our test script in sequential as well as in parallel. It's going to be very simple. We have to just do some configuration and that's it. We are able to achieve this. Let me show you the demo now. So before that, uh, let me tell you two things. In just, we have two options. One is the configuration uh of just that is uh we have already have it's just dot config dot js right where we can uh spe specify few of the global variables right so that is the configuration configuration level and another level is there that is the uh cli that is known as command command line interface okay so here you can see we have this configuration of just and similarly we have the just configuration and cli uh always uh like suppress the configuration that means in configuration we have something but we can overwrite the values using the just cli options okay but there is also a disadvantage uh few of the cli commands cannot be used in the configuration so we have to pass it as a cli only okay uh, i will show you the demo whenever the appropriate scenario comes in okay so today we are going to learn how to run in sequential and parallel for that i have already created a test i mean i just copy pasted so here you can see within our uh, page object test folder we have this one right so we have learned like how to write the test script in page object model so the same test script i have copy pasted and changed the file name to tc002 and within this also like login uh, like login again to and another test is like 102 some number okay so same test script but i have like different files so consider like two files two test cases okay uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, run our test script before that we have a small problem we are going to fix that let me show you what is the problem okay so i'm going to bring up my control j uh, i mean the terminal and then i'm going to say npm run test okay so when i say npm run test what will happen means it will go to my package.json and from the json it will uh pick this one test that is just now from the just it will go to the just.config.js uh the global settings of our just and from there uh it will go to the preset like playwright and from there it will take the few of the variables i mean few of the values like firefox the browser name and headless equal to false all those stuff okay now the problem here is when i say npm run just i mean run test you can see that it is actually running all the test scripts that i have in my system uh, for example uh, like i have like total 13 test cases and it is trying to execute all the tests right but that is not the intent we don't have to write run all the test scripts all the time right for example we might have a ci cd where we have to run our smoke test in a daily basis right or during the regression of course we have to run everything when we are going to do some sanity or maybe we are going to uh, develop the test script we have to run those script only right we don't have to run all the script again and again but when i say npm run test it is going to run uh, because that is how we have configured in our jest so basically it is going to take all the uh, files that are available in my test folder and it is going to execute that is the default behavior of just and also if you notice here you can see it has like created some um, threads uh, threads in the sense in the world of just it is known as uh, workers okay so by default it is trying to run this many test cases in a parallel okay so we have to configure in a such a way whatever the file names or the folder names we are going to specify based on that our script should run okay so let's see that uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a um, uh, value for that in my just.config.js file if i try to type something of course vs code is not giving me any suggestion because this is a javascript file and we know that most of the time we don't get any suggestion in the javascript if it's going to be typescript of course uh, we can uh, get the suggestion but there's a way let me show you that so if if we go to this uh, just documentation in the configuration part you can see that here we have something like at types that means whenever we add this comment in our file it will try to get the documentation so here you can see at types at types in the sense at the rate 
uh, just dot type so we are just do, trying to do the import okay uh, just you have to specify this one and that should bring you all the suggestion for this particular um file okay for example if i give control space now you can see that we have lot of options here uh, we really don't have to know each and every options because mostly for the testing we are not going to use this okay at least for testing maybe uh, uh, if something required, I will definitely cover that. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to fix the first problem. That is whatever the file or folder I am going to specify based on that it should run. Okay. So for that we have something called test match. Uh, test match in the sense uh, it is going to take only those uh, uh, folders that we are going to specify. Folders or the files. Okay. So this is basically array. So of course you can give like multiple values like folder one, folder two. If you folder one is like your smoke, we want to specify the smoke or the regression or the sanity. Based on that, you can just specify. Just an example, you know how to use it properly. Okay. So within the bracket, I'm going to say within the angular bracket or lesser than greater than symbol, I'm going to say root directory. Okay. So the short form is R O O T D I R. That means from the root directory, we are navigating to the test folder. And from the test folder, we are interested on this page object test folder only. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this and paste over here. Okay, now within the folder, what are the files we are going to take? Okay, so here I'm going to say like star star dot ts. That means any file that ends with dot ts, we are going to consider those as a test file. Okay, so here uh, you can see we have only two files, though. So both the files will be considered as a test file. Okay, that's it. Now let's let's check this one. So I'm going to bring up my terminal again and here again I'm going to say npm run test. This time it should pick only the test scripts that are available on those I mean on that particular folder. So here we can see that the 0 of 2 total that means uh, in previous time we got like around 13. Now we are getting around 2 only. Okay. So this is the correct way of running particular test script. Okay. So I'm just going to okay, let it run. Uh, so here it's running in parallel, right? So if you can see, uh, it's running in parallel. So basically, whenever we specify any folder within the folder, how many files are there? It will try to execute all the files. Okay. That may be a problem, right? So not it is not necessary that we should always run in parallel. For example, let's say that uh, we are trying to do some CRUD operation. So once we create the data, then only we have to read the data or search the data and then we can do the update or the delete process, right? So everything is independent here. Uh, not independent, I mean dependent. So once I do the create, then only I can do the update or the delete, right? So in that scenario, of course, I have to, um, uh, what I have to do, I have to run in sequential, right? Okay. So let's see how to run in sequential. Before that, I think we have some failure here. Yeah, we have a failure because of the exception. Um, so let me just fix it quickly. So what I did is I was trying something and here I added something. So that is the reason. Okay, so that should work fine. Uh, anyways, let's see how to run in sequential one by one. Okay, so it's going to be very, very simple. As I said earlier, um, few things can be configured within the config level and few things can be configured within the CI level only. I mean CLI, command line interface. Okay. So before going to the command line, I mean the terminal, we are going to control that from the package.json. Okay. So here I'm going to say just then slash, I mean dash i. Okay. So what is an i? Uh, let me show you. So if I go to the documentation, you can go to the CLI, the command line interface. And here you can search for uh, run in band. Okay, so run in band. Run in band in the sense, the name is little weird here. I don't know why they have named like this. But this is actually uh, to run the test script in a sequential. Okay, so here you can see that rather than creating a worker. So if you remember, I little while I said like worker. So whenever we run our test script based on number of files we have, it will create a worker pool and it will try to run everything as a um, parallel. Okay. But what we are expecting is to run in sequential. So this is the one. So run in band and it has allies like dash i allies in the sense like kind of short form. Okay. So we can specify like double dash run in band or else we can say like single dash and then i. Okay. Now let's clear it up. 
and we are going to execute this. And this time it should run in sequential one by one. So it's running in Firefox and you can see the terminal here. Uh, basically it is trying to run the first file that is tc001 um, login.test. Once this test is completed, then it is going to run the uh, second one. Okay. So that's it very simple. By default, it is going to run in parallel mode, but if you want to configure to run in sequential mode, then we have to specify in um, in the package.json as a dash i. Okay, so just dash i. And there are two types of configuration. One is the global level, and another one is the CLI. Okay, so CLI always overrides the value that are that is present in the config file. Okay. And that's it. It's very easy. Uh, I believe you are able to understand it. Okay. So here you can see that the first test completed, then the second test completed. Now we have like two test suites and four tests passed. Okay. And just in case, instead of Firefox, if you want to execute in um, Chromium, it's going to be very simple. Just go to your Playwright config file and here you can change this to Chromium. Okay. So that's it. You are pretty much done. Okay. So uh, that's it for this video if you have any queries please do let me know in the comments and uh, and in the next video we are going to talk about few more concepts in the gist okay so tata bye bye take care see you